Join Chris and Kale for breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Coconut Grove, Miami, Florida. Guava bread wow. pudding. Oh, it is good. It's delicious. All that bread. Big as your head. <laughs> Wow. We spent a long weekend visiting Southern Florida and stayed in Coconut Grove. Coconut Grove is an upscale, bustling neighborhood in South Miami filled with shops and restaurants. We stayed across from Peacock Park at Hotel Aria. From this location, we were within walking distance to most places that we ate, which is one diner across the Dixie Highway, US Route 1. Coconut Grove, or more simply known as The Grove, is the oldest neighborhood in Miami. Locals take pride in it also being one of the greenest and friendliest neighborhoods. Dogs and their owners can be found roaming the streets and the area is home to many open-air restaurants, street-side cafes, and waterfront diners. In non-pandemic times, the Grove can be a center of nightlife, frequented by locals, young professionals, tourists, and students from the nearby universities. Shopping, however, is always abundant with open-air malls, street shops, and boutiques. For our long weekend, this was a great choice for a home base as we took excursions to the Everglades and the Keys. Hotel Aria provided good rooms, a great view, and a fabulous location. When we travel, we want to find the best local coffee joint. For us, that was Panther Coffee. How was the nitro? Yummy. Here's my classic Cold brew. Oh, it is good. For a quick and delicious breakfast, we found La Pont Quotidien, an international French bakery chain. We venture just outside of Coconut Grove to experience one of the best Cuban restaurants in Miami, Havana Harry's. Pineapple. Mint pineapple. Wow. The empanada comes in a little basket. That. that is so crunchy. Yeah. I love this. Great. Oh, not, not, awesome, huh? not greasy. Just crisp. Delicious. So my sandwich is buried under here somewhere. And it's got plantains on it. Pork. So the pork and plantain, sweet and savory together. Oh. Fantastic. You see these charred, charred ends right there? That's the best part. Look at yours. Oh my god. As big as your head. I know. I don't know where to start. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to finish it, but I'll try. I'll give it a good effort. <laughs> it tastes like a cabana. 
very good. The portions are very big. <laughs> With that quality and portions, the only question is, how do they make money? On more best of lists than you can shake a stick at, Cush by Spillover was a restaurant we had to try. Cush by Spillover. Look at that. A little fountain. Very nice. That's the Dan fucking Marino. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. F and Marino? No, I think it was Dan fucking Marino. <laughs> that was the name of it. <laughs> that looks really good, though. Try it. See, is it any good? First, it's got like a sting, and then you can kind of get a smokiness. Oh, oh that's the mezcal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Try it. My. Uh, Mexican from Miami, which has like is like a watermelon jalapeno. Oh, watermelon jalapeno, any better? That's really good. Look at yeah. that little jalapeno on the. <laughs> Housemade salsa. Can't wait to try it. I know. It's for the yeah. ceviche. Citrus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Citrus, Citrus ceviche. Wow. I'm ready. We gotta check out the presentation of the gator bite. I think we've both had gator before. It can be done well, but we're gonna see where this stands. The battered stuff is well done like a like a really good high-end fried chicken. But you do have that texture difference, but it's not a strong flavor. It is like a you know mild like a chicken. But they, their execution is outstanding. This this is good. I like this and I enjoy this. And not just the novelty of it. Good job. First we've got a salad. Not just any <laughs> no, salad. No, it's, it's a crab cake salad. Well, it looks very good. I was just kidding. It looks really good. But over here, this is what you call a grouper Reuben. Look what's inside it. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to sink my teeth into that. Okay. It's got that Reuben flavor to it. But with grouper, you know, it's some like corned beef. Oh my gosh, that's really good. Look at her plate. It was so good. <laughs> Look at mine though. Oh. Whoops. Cheers. Guava bread wow. pudding. Holy cow. That is so good. See, the other thing that does it for me is having this ultra sweet bread pudding. It's guava bread pudding. But then cutting it with this strong espresso just tops it off. And the contrast of the two makes for Absolutely incredible dessert. Coconut Grove is filled with fabulous restaurants, and Lulu is one of those landmarks that's tough to beat. Lulu is a Spanish tapas restaurant that enables us to try a lot of things, so it's right up our alley.
Eclectic drinks is part of the game here in Coconut Grove, and Lulu delivers. These are the dates, that's what they said, right? That's the octopus. What's that? Brussels sprouts. Gosh, I can't even see what they look at. So that's the Brussels sprouts, and then of course the skewered shrimp down there. Fantastic. Uh, their presentation is pretty impressive. Although Coconut Grove provided some spectacular dining experiences, we wanted to venture a little further out to find the favorites of the local Cubans. We're here at uh, one of the places that's open at this hour, uh, called Breadman, Breadman Bakery. This is the croissant sandwich. This is an omelet sandwich. Pan. It's hot. Look at that. Here we go. The Palacio de los Hugo. This place just reeked of fresh fruit delicious smoothies, fantastic sandwiches, and mouth-watering pastries. Wow, oh, the fruit? Wow. You know, if they sell all the fruit, you know they're gonna have good hugo. Okay, so they have sandwiches, but we're not getting sandwiches. But we might get some of these things. This is just batido. And they got mane, mango, guayaba, and guana banana. Well, I don't want the guana banana. I want the guayaba. And you want the mango. Yeah. All right. You want like a like a fruit pastry yeah, thing? Or you check it? Oh, that is. Yeah, that's exactly what they like. Yeah, you want the banana. You don't yeah. care what's in it? These are the croquetas. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Now that's an empanada and you got chorizo in it. <laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh. Is that any good? Can you get it down? <laughs> How's the mango? Not too sweet. It's like real mango, <laughs> which is hard to find when you're not in mango. Look at this, this mango. Royale. Oh, that guap. See, I love that guap. Royale is awesome. Thanks for joining us for breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Coconut Grove, Miami, Florida. Thanks for watching. We hope this gets you excited about getting out and exploring on your own. Click to the right to subscribe. Click to the left for more adventures.